science, technology, innovation. These are among some of the many pillars that Sandbox has to offer new developers. Here at Eagle One Industries, we're dedicating to making the best of this new and burgeoning technology, and we're eager to share our experience and work with the world. However, for your average new developer, the intricacies of Sandbox development can be confusing, daunting, and frustrating. Well, fear not, wary developer. The doctor is in and taking patience. So join us on a journey through cyberspace in Dr. Dial-Up's Sandbox Programming Crash Course. Oh! Hello! Welcome to my cyberspace. This is an amalgam of human perception and networks that form a physical place that I call the Netscape. But you didn't come here to hear me prattle on about the internet. You're here to learn how to program in Sandbox. Well, today's topic is going to focus on something extremely simple. I'm going to teach you how to set up Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 and begin creating your first game mode in Sandbox. Come with me. Now, if you follow the hyperlink in the description of this video, you will be directed to a website to download Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. Be warned, you may be required to create a Microsoft account in order to continue. During the setup, you will eventually run across this window right here, where you will select the module.NET Desktop Development. Ensure that your installation details match the ones in this clip. Once you've completed the installation process, then you're ready to program in Sandbox. If you have not yet done so, launch Sandbox. This will generate a solution file that you will need to open in Visual Studio. Notice on the right-hand side of the application will contain projects for each of your installed add-ons. Now to get started with your first game mode, you're going to use the hyperlink in the description to go to the FaceHunch GitHub and download the Sandbox Minimal Game Mode. Once you have that downloaded, open your Sandbox directory by right-clicking the entry in your Steam library, selecting Manage, and then select Browse Local Files. Now simply drag the downloaded folder into the Add-ons folder within your Sandbox directory. You can rename the folder in order to rename the add-on in the game mode. Then simply launch Sandbox and voila! It will appear in your projects directory within Visual Studio. And that's it! You are now ready to begin programming your first game mode. If you're looking for inspiration or help, FacePunch Studios provides a litany of examples on their GitHub for various types of game modes. Use this wealth of knowledge to help you find out how to do a great many things. Well, that appears to be all the time I have for today. This has been Dr. Dialup's Sandbox Programming Crash Course, and I will see you next time. Until then, stay fresh and stay connected.